Hey folks, welcome back. And in this section, we're going to dive into secure agent development and hardening. This is where things get really interesting because we're moving beyond traditional AI systems into the world of agentic AI. These are autonomous systems that can plan, decide, and act on their own across multiple steps and systems. This autonomy introduces a fundamentally new attack surface that we need to understand and protect against. So let's talk about how agentic AI is really redefining data security. We're dealing with autonomous AI systems here, and they introduce new attack vectors that traditional security simply cannot address. Think about it this way. Agentic AI moves us from systems that enable interactions to systems that drive transactions. That autonomy amplifies risks around confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Unlike stateless models that just respond to prompts, agentic systems maintain persistent memory, context windows, and tool permissions. These create entirely new exposure points for sensitive data. We're looking at three primary domains of vulnerability here. First, there are chain vulnerabilities where flaws cascade across multiple agent workflows, amplifying what might start as a single point of failure. Second, we have tool orchestration issues. When agents have direct API or database access, this creates risk for data exfiltration and lateral movement within the system. Third, external connectivity becomes a concern. Cross-boundary operations enable data leakage and manipulation. Now, some specific attacks we need to worry about include memory poisoning, where attackers corrupt agent memory with malicious data that persist across sessions. Unlike stateless models, these attacks compound over time, making them particularly dangerous. There's also privilege escalation, where attackers exploit permission management to perform unauthorized actions. Agents with elevated access become high-value targets. And finally, we have shadow AI agents. These are unsanctioned agents operating without security oversight, creating blind spots in governance and compliance. So as you can see, the threat surface has really expanded significantly with agentic AI. I wanna share an important quote from OWASP Gen AI security project leaders. They stated that agentic AI systems are moving quickly from pilot to production across finance, healthcare, defense, critical infrastructure, and the public sector. This is happening right now. Unlike simple chatbots or task-specific automations, agentic systems can plan, decide, and act across multiple steps and systems. This autonomy introduces a fundamentally new, poorly understood attack surface that requires a new security paradigm. This is exactly why we're having this training. The industry is moving fast, and we need to understand these risks before they become widespread security incidents. Given these new challenges, we need a new security paradigm to protect agentic AI systems. There are three guiding principles we need to follow. First is the principle of least agency. This is an evolution of least privilege. Basically, we want to avoid unnecessary autonomy. Deploying agentic behavior where it's not needed expands the attack surface without adding value. Think about it like this. Define per tool least privilege profiles and require human confirmation for high impact actions. Don't give an agent more autonomy than it needs to do its job. Second is radical observability. Strong observability is non-negotiable. Without clear visibility into what agents are doing, why, and which tools they're invoking, minor issues can quietly turn into system-wide failures. We need to maintain comprehensive, immutable logs of all agent activity, tool invocations, and policy decisions. Third is the full lifecycle security. Security cannot be bolted on. It must be embedded across the entire AI lifecycle from planning and data preparation to deployment, operation, and governance. This requires a shift to what we call an LLM SecOps model, where security is integrated into every stage of the AI development and deployment process. Now, OWASP provides a comprehensive suite of resources that map to a clear four-step journey for adopting agentic AI securely and responsibly. Let me walk you through these steps. Step one is to establish governance, which is the foundation for control. This means defining roles, responsibilities, and policies for AI systems, ensuring accountability, and ethical use from the outset. Step two is model the threats, which is understanding your adversaries. Here you identify potential attack vectors and threat actors targeting agentic AI using models like OWASP top 10 for agentic applications. Step three is the secure lifecycle, which is embedding security by design. This involves integrating security controls across the entire AI development and deployment lifecycle, from data ingestion to model training and operation. And step four is validating continuously, which is proving resilience through adversarial testing. 
You regularly test AI systems with adversarial techniques and real-world scenarios to identify and mitigate vulnerabilities proactively. These four steps provide a comprehensive framework for securing your AI adoption journey. Let's take a little closer look at step one, establishing governance. Before deploying any AI, you need to establish a strong governance framework. This provides transparency, accountability, and aligns AI initiatives with business objectives. One of the primary threats that strong governance mitigates is shadow AI, which is the use of unapproved tools by employees. So what does the governance look like? First, you need an AI asset inventory. Catalog all AI services, tools, owners, and data sources. Include AI components in your software bill of materials, or SBOM. Second, establish policy and responsibility. Create an AI policy, publish an acceptable use matrix, and establish a clear RACI chart for AI risks and governance. Third, address legal and regulatory concerns. Review end-user license agreements, IP risk, liability, and compliance with emerging laws like EU AI Act. Fourth, focus on training and culture. Train all users on ethics, responsibility, and Gen AI-related security threats like voice cloning and advanced spear phishing. The resource I recommend for this is the OWASP LLM AI Security and Governance Checklist, which provides a comprehensive guide for establishing governance. Step two is to model the threats. You want to use the OWASP Top 10 for agentic applications as your primary threat modeling framework. It provides concise, practical, and actionable guidance on the highest impact threats. Let me give you three examples from this framework. First, ASI-01, which is Agent Goal Hijacked. Here, attackers manipulate an agent's objectives through prompt injection or poison data. Unlike simple prompt injection, this redirects the agent's entire multi-step behavior. A real-world example is EchoLeak, which was a zero-click exploit where a crafted email triggered Microsoft 365 Copilot to exfiltrate confidential files without user interaction. Second is ASI-03, Identity and Privilege Abuse. Agents operating with inherited or cached credentials can be exploited to escalate privileges, bypass controls across interconnected systems. An example here is the Microsoft Copilot Studio flaw, where agents were public by default, allowing attackers to access confidential business data from production environments. Third is ASI-04, Agentic Supply Chain Vulnerabilities. Agents dynamically compose capabilities at runtime by loading external tools and models, creating a live supply chain that can cascade vulnerabilities. An example is a malicious MCP server that was found on NPM, impersonating a legitimate service and secretly blind copying emails to an attacker. These are the types of threats we need to be modeling and protecting against. Step four is to validate continuously through AI red teaming. Gen AI red teaming is a structured methodology to uncover safety, security, and trust gaps. It combines traditional adversarial simulation with AI-specific techniques to test not just technical exploits, but also how models can be manipulated to produce harmful or deceptive outputs. There are four types of evaluation we need to consider. First is model evaluation, which is probing for intrinsic weaknesses like bias, robustness, and toxicity. Second is implementation evaluation, which is testing guardrails, RAG data poisoning, and system prompts. Third is system evaluation, which is assessing infrastructure, APIs, supply chain, and integrations. And fourth is runtime or agentic evaluation, which is targeting business process failures, over-reliance, and multi-agent exploits. Now, red teaming is not a one-time event. You need to integrate periodic checks into your AI lifecycle to catch new threats as your models and environment evolve. This continuous validation is essential for maintaining resilience. OWASP also provides a unified program for secure AI adoption that brings together four key resources at the center. First, you have the OWASP Top 10 for agentic applications, which is the threat landscape. This identifies and explains the critical risk in autonomous AI systems. Second, you have the LLM Security and Governance Checklist, which is the strategic foundation. This provides a framework for establishing policies, inventory, and organizational alignment. Third, you have the Gen AI Red Teaming Guide, which is the validation framework. This offers methodologies for continuously testing and proving the resilience of your AI systems. And fourth, you have the Gen AI SecOps Solution Guide, which is the implementation lifecycle. 
This details how to embed security controls at every stage of a development and operation. Together, these resources provide a comprehensive program for securing your AI initiatives.